Drawing professional quality chemical structures and reaction schemes can be surprisingly time consuming. You end up spending all this time like rearranging your structures, you know, making sure that you fill out your space you know, properly and that things aren't on top of one another and that you're not making any errors. Uh, this all, you know, like you want to make it look good, of course, when you're doing something professional, whether for school or for your work, um, but you also don't want to spend a ton of time doing this. So what do you do? ChemSketch actually has a bunch of tools for you to help you get your um, structures and your get your reaction schemes looking you know pristine and looking professional without a whole lot of busy work and a lot of uh, fussing so today I'm going to show you five tips that will help elevate your productivity and elevate the quality and the the um, professionality of your uh, structures and reaction schemes now this is part of um, the, related to a blog post that also came out uh, uh, around the time that this is uh, is being published too so you should check that out there's a little bit more detail on some of the things I'm going to be covering here so so they're gonna be uh, so, so check that out if you have any more questions but without any further ado let's get into things um the first one I'm going to talk about has to do with uh, the space that you are uh, using um, one of the uh, most common sources actually of uh, really bad looking structures is they're too crowded in uh, one another I think on the screen right now I'm gonna throw up uh, you know some examples here of uh, what you see when you don't have enough white space what it's called um, on the screen uh, that you are, uh, your structures are too crowded in one another, they're on, kind of on top of one another, it doesn't look professional, and uh, it's hard to understand. But if you have things spread out more, it is a lot easier to, to, to grasp, um, things look more professional, and it looks like it's just a higher quality work. Um, one of the causes of this not enough white space is that you just are not using enough um, space in your uh, chem sketch panel and so you can actually increase the size of your uh, layout of your page I'm going to show you how to do that uh, so go right here into the file menu and then you can go into the page setup options here and then this allows you to adjust the size of the page the default here is the letter size um, but you can increase the width to whatever you want um, you know here is an example here so this is a really great thing to use if you are doing a particularly complicated um, chemical structure or chemical scheme and then you can have more space to move things around and you're not going to be as as crowded in and bunched up um, another tool that I'm going to highlight as well that is great for making things look clean and nice is uh, the clean structure button um, so I'm going to do a quick um, one right here some quick uh, structure to just get an idea this is looking a little um, uh, silly right now obviously not something that I'm uh, um, putting a lot of effort into right here but you can see that the angles are a little bit weird for for this and it does not look um, well organized um, we can do the clean structure button as I just pressed it right there and it's laid out perfectly now so that's a really quick way to get your structures looking really good with just you know, press of a button. Um, if you have a particular area of the structure too that needs to be improved, that needs to be cleaned up, you can just select that and then press the button and that, that'll do um, that for you. Great little tool to, to be aware of. Next, I wanna talk about the structure versus draw mode. Um, there are two modes in Chem Sketch, uh, one of which that you're probably familiar with if you've used the, uh, the, the program at all, and that's the structure mode. That's the one that I'm in right now. And that has all of these chemical chemistry uh, tools all around it here um, then uh, so you're, you should be familiar with this but there's another one that you might not uh, understand as well and that's the draw mode and you switch modes uh, up here in the top left hand corner so click on the draw mode right here and uh, now we get a different set of, of options that are a little bit more um, focused on your design essentially and um, you're gonna spend most of your time probably in the structure mode but knowing when to switch into draw mode and like what you can use it for is I think a really big unlock for a lot of folks. So for example, you have like lines and curved lines. Um, this is uh, really helpful for doing um, arrows in, in uh, reaction schemes or in uh, mechanisms and organic mechanisms. I have a whole video about that if you want to learn more about that there. Um, but uh, there's also like, you know, you can insert images. One that I want to highlight here is the alignment tools here. So I'm going to do a quick uh, couple of structures here, um, maybe I'll add in a couple carbons on um, them. 
uh, as well. Uh, actually, let's see, we may have oxygen as well. That sounds good. Okay, do a quick cleanup, go back to draw mode. Um, now, I want if I have these two and they're, they're, I'm just comparing them in something, maybe I wanna have them lined up. So uh, one thing to do is, to note is that for the draw mode, you can, when you click on a structure, you grab the whole thing, um, which is really easy uh, for when you're like, for instance, in a, uh, doing a reaction scheme and you want to move a whole molecule, uh, it can be sometimes hard to, to grab that molecule um, without, you know, switching between different tools and doing a bunch of like, you know, like uh, add this and then not add that, like that kind of thing. Just go to draw mode, just click it once, that whole molecule will be selected. So that's a good thing to know about. Um, but it, anyway, we're going to click that one here, shift click this one. Now we can do the center vertically. Now they're perfectly lined up. Great. So this is looking um, a lot better just, you know, with one quick click of the button and don't have to like line it up, you know, manually, which can be a little bit frustrating. Um, one thing to note is that these are uh, focused on the, like not the, like, center of the mass, I guess is a good way to put it, or or, or um, some other like feature of it. It just sees them as images. And I'll show you kind of what I mean here. I'm gonna grab these two again, and I'm gonna press this button now of the center vertically. And you see that this uh, one on the right here, the, the benzene rings are not lined up as they were before, which might be what you want, because it just ends up being, I think it looks a little bit better um, personally. Um, but there's ways to get around that too. You can do things like the align bottom. So just kind of get familiar with how to use these tools and, and it'll um, make sure that you get things aligned up properly. Now let's talk about the ACD dictionary. This is a great way to draw up structures uh, that you're just instantaneously based on their, their name. And uh, this is a feature that's not, uh, it available in all of the um uh, the versions if you have a freeware version this might not be in there uh so if you want to have access to this this is a, a great thing to upgrade for here we go to the acd dictionary up in the right hand corner here um and then we can look things up like right now i have caffeine that's pulled up in here but you can search by by by, by name as well so caff um in is how you get it uh had it open from before grab it put it in and huzzah you know, just drop it into your document. Now, the reason that this is particularly good is like a couple of things. I know that I've uh, previously, you know, been copying out structures based on like what I find on the internet and, and doing that manually. If it's a well-known structure, this is a way to do that without having to do that amount of work. Also, when you do that kind of copying, you can make mistakes too. And that this is going to be guaranteeing that you have the correct structure. So that's really nice. Now, let's talk about custom templates. This is a great way to really save yourself a lot of time. Uh, something that we know about chemists and, uh, is that you tend to focus a lot on like particular kinds of chemistry, I find. You know, there are environmental chemists who are obsessed with um, you know, the P uh, PFAS compounds, or uh, maybe you're in a medicinal chemist who's like really focused around like nucleosides and different variations of nucleosides. Um, there's lots of uh, chemists who are really fascinated with a particular area of chemistry, and you want to draw those structures again and again and again, and you don't want to spend a lot of time doing it. How we do that here in, is that you can uh, actually create a custom template. So uh, let's pretend that caffeine is the one that we really care about. I'm gonna select this here, and I am going to click on user templates, that button right on the, the right-hand side. We have to set a label here. We go, let's go calf uh, as the name. We can, it has to be up to six letters at the top, the maximum, but uh, calf should do the trick here and we have it set. Now we can uh, put uh, as, get as much caffeine as we want <laughs> in, our, in our lives, which is nice. Uh, get, get out to something else, but now we can um, grab it again. Uh, I also set the attachment point at uh, one particular like location of this one here. Uh, in this particular case, it looks like a little bit like, a, like nonsense, but maybe you have like one particular point that you are, are most likely to uh, attach to so that that's something that you can be aware of there when you're setting up your template. Uh, and you can have a bunch of these too. You can, you can have uh, multiple, right now I have two of them. This is from a, a previous little project that I was working on. Um, but that that is uh, how you can create those and that's a great way to uh, have access to a whole you know uh, library of molecules that are relevant specifically to you. For our last tip, let's talk about keyboard shortcuts. This is a way to do particular things in the program by just pressing a couple buttons on the keyboard rather than you know, reaching through your, your menus and grabbing something uh, through uh, there, which can take a little bit of extra time. Um, I, this is particularly helpful for folks who have 
particular um, uh, tools that you're using a lot that is really relevant for your work. Um, this is a way to do it without having to you know, move your mouse around, get into different menus, things like that. Uh, so I'll share a bunch of them on the, the uh, right here on the screen, but you can actually access all of them through the help menu. Um, we can go through help here, um, reference manual. We're gonna do search and we're gonna look for shortcuts. Have that in all already. And then the first result here is uh, the shortcuts, general shortcuts, etc. And then, then there were more in there as well. Um, but uh, you can, th this is a great way for, for you to learn about all the different ones. But there's one particular one I do want to highlight, and that is the F1 key. And then that's one that's actually right here, but I'll show you how it works. So let's say that there was a particular button that I didn't know what it did, and I, and I was curious as to how it works. So let's use this one here as the atom to atom mapping button. I'm going to mouse over. Over and I'm going to press the F1 button and that instantly opens up the help menu at the relevant page so you don't have to look it up um, yourself so it's a really great way to familiarize yourself with what's going on in the program and um, how the different tools work maybe it's not behaving in the way that you expect it to um, this is a great way to, to have access to that Okay, folks, hopefully that will cover things for today. I hope this has been helpful and will increase your efficiency and professionalism in your documents. If you have questions, be sure to drop them in the comments. I do check those out, and those are really instructive for putting together future videos um, for me, or I also might just you know, answer you directly and, and tell you how to do whatever it is that you don't know how to do. Um, but if that covers everything, you know, thank you so much for hanging out with me, and happy sketching.